<laughs> I had a nice rootle around in the hall after I'd been into the cupboard under the stairs and found several things from about 2001, 2002, which I'd overlooked or not seen for a long time. This is one of them. I've got two others as well to show. It's a, it's a battery-operated thing, with a battery in the base. It's one of those swinging things which you're probably familiar with in shops. They use it for um, displaying things to catch your attention. It's particularly good in this case with lenticular cards because it's swinging back and forward. There's a magnet in the bottom of this swinging bit here in the base there. It's just... Uh, but underneath there's a magnet there and it swings back and forward over this electromagnet which gives it a kick so on a good day it'll well a good week it should actually swing away for about almost two weeks without uh, troubling the shop owner because it takes that long for the battery to drain i found better lenticulars but anyway this is the one that came that they came within the box it's an very curious one i can't make it out at all can you make from that picture to that picture very strange but anyway, it works very nicely, and I'm pleased to have one of these to be able to show some of my um, more interesting lenticular toys, which all require rocking back and forward to show for animation mostly. So that's a nice one to find, So, and it's very easy to fix them on as well. The second one I found in that little rootling bit, probably from the same time, 2002, was the old fluttering thing. We've done a but butterfly on our website for, uh, for many years. It's, it's a wonderful toy, one of my favourites, but this is... Uh, another one with the form of a bird. It looks like a bird of paradise. Batteries in here. This thing with a longer stick goes underneath it, sticks into the ground or into the flower pot. Push it and turn it on. And that's what happens. The bird flutters very nicely. It works best when it's straight up, because if we put it at an angle like that, it stays in the one place. It's far better and more interesting as well as fluttering. If it's vertical, then it doesn't flutter in a gentle circle like that. What a beautiful bit of um, technology to create that effect, I think. The French were very good at this, indeed. They made some of the only, some of the best of this toy. I'm pleased to have that one because it's just a little bit different from the butterflies and the dragonflies that we had for such a long time. And I think, I think it's, it looks like a bird or something, a tropical bird, I'd say. But anyway, it's, it's a nice one, though. So I'm very pleased to have it. The last one, something I was very, very intrigued to have, is um, the first example that came out of electroluminescence. I think the Japanese produced this. It was um, a box that came out about 2002 or something. This was discovered by the Germans almost 50 years ago. I think it's something to do with discovering that if you excite uh, phosphorus salts with an oscillating magnetic field or something, you get useful light and it's called electroluminescence. And here's the, probably the first version to come out of it. Turn it on. It lights up. Without the light, the actual normal colour is orange colour, but do this, the light's coming through, and now it's a sort of greeny, yellowy sort of colour, very strange. When I first saw this, I was charmed to see that, as usual, the magicians are terribly quick on the market to get, to get onto the market quickly with brand new inventions or new discoveries. So there's a lovely uh, memory in my mind of an Austri Austrian magician from the Vienna Magic Company in a very smart Tyrolean jacket in a the slightly dim lights you get in magic conventions was this thing forming the edge of the lapel all the way around the jacket. Every bit of it was glowing because it had been sewn in to the to the edge of the jacket and just looked wonderful, extraordinary effect. You will see a lot of this now in things like studios, not with wire, but whole walls covered with white, which is completely shadowless. So for, for the point of view of photographers, this is a, a very, very good um, invention. There's a flashing mode as well, but it's just nice for me to have a souvenir or memento of the very first electroluminescent gadget that came out. So look out for it. There's lots of applications of this amazing discovery. And uh, it's a highly creative sort of thing for people to be able to play with too. Good one.